Hello everyone, my name is Hex, this is X Mania, and welcome back to uh, Danganronpa 2, where we are investigating, we got some information. Now we've got three other places to look. Motel, movie theater, um, and, uh, hospital. So we'll just go to the left. To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Okay, snake meat's good. Alright, into the hospital we go. Okay, Chucky, got anything? I haven't been here in a while, it's been a few days. Hey, you prepared the surveillance unit, uh, camera unit, right? Yeah, so? I didn't make any weird modifications or anything, so it's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Didn't you get that from that shady looking alleyway where those machines were lined up? Yeah, just a quick throw wall. Then if there are other camera units, would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from one of those cameras too? No, yeah, well, that's impossible. Julie said some surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors were only used as part of the same unit. Video film with the hospital camera can only be viewed on the hospital monitor. Yeah, this okay. Can only be seen, but if I left it on that, we wouldn't be able to communicate, so I swapped. That's how you're able to view the possible footage. How are you still able to camera manages this broadcast based on a specific number? So even if you bring the same model or ca camera or monitor, you may be able to interfere. Okay, meaning if another surveillance camera exists, it would be impossible to broadcast with it. However, I didn't just swap cameras. I modified them and increased their wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't be able to use it. I'm work on that. Okay. Surveillance camera. Something I want to ask you first discovered even piece of audio in the music venue, right? Why well, did you go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? You say something with the camera. I also want to ask you that. Yeah. Hey, hey. That's exactly it. I saw a strange video in the Saber Link's camera unit. So the music venue stage, black curtain. The whole display was pretty dark because we were just using candlelight. There's a rope hanging from the ceiling, and beneath that there was a step ladder on the floor. And right away. Person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag appeared, didn't know who it was. Because his face was covered, but now I know I'm spending Ibuki. She walks straight into the step ladder without any hesitation. She climbed that step ladder on her own free will, then she grabbed a rope, and that's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have been snuffed out or something because the screen went dark a couple of sudden and wasn't displaying anything anymore. Well, the candle like closed out, obviously nothing would show up. Honda surveillance cameras have infrared functions, things to still show up in the dark. And then when I got through the machine, Ellie was a really old model. Hold on. Well? You didn't know the person wearing the hot bag? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. You didn't know it was her, but you saw her, she was trying to hear herself, so you rushed over to the music venue to try to stop her. But I didn't make it in time. So, if she should climb the step ladder on her own, does that mean she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's her own killer? Ibiki committed suicide. What do you think she got me? No doubt, he could climb the ladder on her own. Yeah, there's no doubt. If so, hmm. Mm. Hey, don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Of course, she doesn't, but there's no way to be able to figure it out. Okay. <gasps> you need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. We're heading over there. <laughs> she ran away all of a sudden. I right, she managed to the conference room. Seemed a little upset. Alright. Onwards. I kind of what, what are you doing here? Now then. Well, I get to my normal oh, saw. I'll be with him. I recover. You touch my boobs if you win. <laughs> she was terrible when she was quiet. It was so much better if she was feeling the after effects. She beat me down if I said it out. Anyways, why are you here? Hey. Never been sick or hurt before. <laughs> hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking I might as well keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan to wear hospital gowns from now on. That's your idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. Looks like there was one gown for each patient's room, so it's thought there'd be more in the empty rooms, but there weren't any gowns. I bet that was right. Ibuki died wearing one, so the only one left is the one Nagito was wearing. If I had no choice, then I'd just use Nagito as its unisex side, so I'll probably be able to put in it. Hold on, what happened to the gown you were wearing? I was saying we should wear the one I already wore. That's gross. Wearing clothes someone else was wearing is even grosser. No time to dilly dally, left Mikan at the venue. Gotta go back. Okay. Messy music video. Leaving on good is a bad idea. A very bad idea. People can mess with stuff. 
open room, shouldn't anybody inside. <sighs> okay, so the patient rooms are not actually that helpful right now. So then... Check on Snake Emmy! Snake Emmy is fine. Alright, here we go. Okay. What's this? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Where's the switch? Hey. Don't turn it on, huh? Jackie, are you there? Yes. If you turn on the light, it's gonna be fully exposed. It's gonna be embarrassing. What's fully hey. exposed? Hey, watch me. If you poke your eyes, you can turn on the light. What are you gonna do? Poke them out? I'm not gonna poke out my eyes. Aww. Oh, bummer. Troll fail. I wonder sooner than she finished saying that, I heard the dry curtain the sound of the curtains being drawn. The flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. It's going to end the eyes, start adjusting. Finish opening up the curtain that was covering the window. Hey, hey. Are you surprised? Surprised I don't get it. No. I got it. Got what? See? The curtains in this classroom's room are designed to completely block out light. Mm -hmm. There's a projector in here, so they're probably careful about light cutting through. See? See a black curtain that blocks the light it is also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect. Black light cur blocking curtain, that's why it's so dark. Is something wrong with it? So in the middle of the investigation, it's a secret. If she's upset, but still, what was that about? That battle being embarrassing. I look at a troll fail. I just want to mess with you. <laughs> yep, she's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? Because I'm not investigating. She should move on. Are you sure about that? Fine. We're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next area. So movie theater, motel, probably electronics area, maybe. Okay, movie theater, let's go. Alright, Nagito. Hello there. Hello there, Hajime, I knew you'd come here. That means you noticed too, right? This game invitation case. I haven't watched that movie yet. Should really watch the movie first. Hey. Customers here. Did you call me? Yes, did you call me? Huh? How'd you make the customer? You have a problem with that? What are you gonna do? You said you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to see it all along. That's what a sooner it looks like. You're a really tough guy. You were so devoted to being sooner you even bought the Monokuma sticker for $1.5 million. You paid $1.5 million for a sticker. It's nothing. It's shame for not watching this movie. Hajime paid $1.5 million for a Monokuma sticker. Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagito? Stop it. My resistance was in vain. Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. See, it's this one. I'm sorry, I was born stupid. <laughs> you bought this for $1.5 million. And in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie. Who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. Okay, here you go. Says on the invitation ticket, it is only effective today at this time. Only give away one ticket per person, you only have one chance to walk for free. Are right, you sent today's date on the ticket so you won't be able to cheat? Don't worry, you only plan to watch it once. To it. Okay. Prepare the traction reel, wait a bit. Okay. Uh, how'd you make about that invitation ticket? I strongly recommend you to keep it safe. Huh, why? No reason, just think of it in protection charm. Gosh, I should wait until the Lonico finishes preparations. In the meantime. Okay. There should be on top of the counter. I'm gonna look like a tote bag. Yeah. Yeah, that get used. What's this? Oh, they're interested in buying that tote bag? Well, that's too bad, it's already sold out. Who do you sell it to? So Stupid, there's no way I'd fall for that. There's no way I'd say something that would reveal the killer is. So the killer bought it. Shocking. Ah! I remember you said there was only one because it's a limited item, right? Hmm. Uh, uh, it's not limited to one, it's more like it's limited to one person. What's the difference? Hey. When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to make customers with the best prices. 
For some reason here you think that pissed me off. We gotta we need to slip the tongue. Looks like preparation is complete. Enter the theater. Okay. Alright. Into the theater we go. Uh, we're doing this. I apologize for keeping me waiting. Lord of the Flames director of Monaco presents a study map for the American audience to tears. The Wizard of Monaco 2.5D. But I have feeling about this 2.5D that's been so half assed. Please relax and enjoy the film! Okay. Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. Okay. <laughs> One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado <laughs> created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. And was whisked away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. Oh my god. So he began his journey to see the wizard, Monami, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Is it beast? No. Monokuma met a Monami scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that she commit suicide, Oh my god. The scarecrow hanged herself and died. <laughs> oh my god. He also met a Monami lion who was missing her courage, so he pumped her full of arrows. Sheesh. He also met a Monami tin man who was missing a heart, so Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. Oh my god. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monami. And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people. Took their pensions and lived the rest of his days in luxury. I'm just sitting here in disbelief at this. Like, oh my god. And he lived happily ever after. The end. My goodness. Man, movies are the best. That drama was so moving that I needed two boxes of tissues, one for each head. Then let's meet again in the trash trial. I'm too disgusted to even let us die right now. That's all I can describe the situation. <laughs> How was it? Actually, I don't even have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? But thanks to that movie, now you know, right? Yeah. Just like he said, the characters who were killed in the movie matched the victims in this case. Ibigo's death by hanging matches the Fear Crow's death. And Hugo's suspension body matches the lion's death. What? Would have been a complete imitation of the killer killed three people, but it seems that was impossible. Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now, or. Or if the killer's main goal was just an imitation murder, they should be upset about it, but I'm not sure if that's even true. <sighs> Alright. Back we go. Nothing. Same unit that's no longer here. Uh, 
All right, back we go. Okay, to the motel, but first of all, okay, Snake Abby's fine. Let's go. Never want to sign out of the rooms, plus I don't even know what he was real. It might be faster to ask someone. Alright. Well, talk to me. I can see if you can try and. Which room is he in the thing? Open the door to the center room. Prepared. <laughs> make sure to create whatever caught you. Okay. I wonder how does the guy. <laughs> you have to choose parents and teachers. <laughs> Alright. Like it's locked, but the key inside. Hello, use this. Opened room key. Go inside. All right. Staying in here. Only stayed a few nights. All conflicted. Oh my! Huh? Did the door open? Yeah, Hugo put the key in her plano, so I used that to open it. Um, I see. What? Did something happen? No, it's just. I'm starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault, what does she mean? That is messed up, doesn't look like protected. Anyway, Sonia, what, what have you got? Um. The moment if Yoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was offended that just too bad disease, she was, she was cautious of you guys too, right? However, However her fear of the disease was not the only reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, what other reason would make her to lock herself in? Her kimono. Her kimono? Um. Um, yesterday I went to go talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time, I told her it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but not, by coincidence it was not locked at that time. But I saw it. Um. Hyoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. No! She did not want to smell that, so she took a shower, but then she could not tie her sash anymore. Mahir was no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't. Uh, she didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? You are right. The others might have thought it was just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Um. Yoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiro. That Mahiro kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. Perhaps. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiro taught her. I. I, I could not really understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you say? Yoko. By chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Because Mahiru taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. Uh, um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Um... And that was when she kicked me out. It cannot be! Could it be Hyoko remembered that? Are you saying she went to the music venue to work her kimono? I can see that happening. Hyoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. Though that's weird. Hey, did you tell anyone before the incident or is someone listening in? Um. I never told this anyone and I do not believe anyone was listening in our conversation. Nobody knew. If that's the case, does the killer know that Hyoko was going to the music venue? Something's wrong. So I need to count. I'll take a look at the sink. We are so small and rusty, nobody. Anything else that looks suspicious? Alright. Well, we got the information from here. There's still things- okay. Kihiku, you got something? Damn right. Hey Hajime, can you explain it to me again? What happened when you first discovered it? Same with the Tom lighting. His own discovery. Checking to tell. Going back to the get me. Got me. We went to the back. Entrance went open. So I had no choice to break down the door and discover you. Okay. That's what happened. Hey. This is the most important part. When did you are of the motel? Who else did you s saw you besides Chiaki? And as I recall, okay, Smonami and Gundam. 
Gundam Amanami, so Kazuki and Sonya didn't appear. Do you think those two are suspicious? Well, Hyoko was killed. Between the time you saw Ibuki's body when we broke the down door, who looks suspicious for it that stuff? Might be it, but while we're at it, let me tell you my alibi when the morning went when Akuma announced what woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw me kind of hacking, uh, panicking in front of the hospital and asked what's going on. Okay. Split up and look for you, Yuki. Came to the hotel. See anyone else while he circled? Well. No, we went to the movie theater in that street full of machines. Look for you, Yuki, but didn't see anyone. Good. Hi, Mikan and I were at home. Looking for Yuki wasn't very long. In that short time, there's no way I could have killed Hyoka and wrapped around the pillar with duct tape. It's true, I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music video. And the fact Hyoka was killed and we did discover Bonnie. Uh, what do you still doubt me? Geez. Well, I'm used to it. It's true, I've done things I deserve to be doubted for. So don't worry, even if you doubt me, I don't plan on dismembering you and casing your concrete. I'd want to know in advance what I'd have to do to end up like that. Okay. Oh. Oh, that was it. Okay. It's already time. So this again. I need to go to that place again. But now's not the time to be a coward. The reason Ibuki and Hyoko became victims in order to find the truth, the only thing I can do is go. Alright. Well, in the episode here, we'll continue this next time. So, I will see you then.